cat family always been seen as the apex predator in the wild. The largest one, the tiger, can even fight and kill a bear. The leopard able to swim and even kill the king of the river, the crocodile. And even the smallest variant have absurd number of kills. However, not all cat build is a perfect predator. For example, cheetah faces serious challenge in their ability to hunt. Cheetah places bottom in the cat tier list. Even though they have quite impressive ability and stats unlike other cats, they also have major weaknesses. Today, we will discuss their strengths and weaknesses that impact their foraging behavior and how their weaknesses places them on the bottom list. So, we begin with the positive. Cheetah have rather unorthodox stat spread. While most cat focuses on power and stealth, Cheetah has put their evolution point into mobility, granting them the highest mobility stats on land. This is pretty important because it makes Cheetah the only carnivore in Africa that can chase down and outspeed herbivores like Impala and Wildebeest. All the other carnivore either needs to pull up a successful stealth strike or keep up a chase in a distance and wait their target stamina to run out. Cheetah can actually chase down any fleeing animal at top speed. Cheetah have very flexible spine that enables them to run at unimaginable speed. The cheetah also have the longest tails than most cats which enables them bonus stability and tighter turn radius during running. Next, cheetah have dark strip under their huge eyes which grants them reduced glare and bonus accuracy on their attacks. Different from feline build, the cheetah opted for non-retractable claws which is similar to the canine build. The unretractive claws grants them bonus traction while running. And lastly, cheetah utilize team strategy to hunt prey. They utilize their high intelligence to organize a pretty coordinated attack on unsurprisingly large target. Team strategy also help them to protect their food from normally unwinnable confrontation against hyenas or lion. This is about where the positives end though. Pretty much all the abilities I mentioned have serious downsides. The cheetah over specialization on the agility skill sets leave them with highly exploitable vulnerability. In order to remain lightweight enough to achieve their incredible movement speed, the cheetah drastically cut down their defensive ability. With a tall, lengthy frame, thin skins and no body fat, the cheetah cannot afford any hits at all. This effect affects every aspect of their foraging behavior. First, this means that they cannot take many risks on their attacks. Every carnivore avoid taking risks and go for easy kills on younger animals. However, in the cheetah's case, if an animal decided to put up any resistance at all, it means it is too risky to the cheetah. This makes sense though as unless a cheetah lands a critical hit on the prey weak point, it cannot deal much damage. Since their claws are unretractable, they are blunted while running. This situation reduces the slashing damage by the cheetah. Thus, the cheetah cannot utilize the cat signature move, the paw swipe. Cheetah do have one claw on the back of their paw. They do not use this claw for traction therefore remain sharp. This claw enhances grappling attempts on target while pouncing. And unfortunately, the inability to defend themselves is the crucial weakness that keeps the cheetah on the bottom of the cat tier list. However, its placement on the back of the foot makes it useless for the cheetah when defending themselves. Because cheetah needs to do a lot of defending. When the situation happens, they face issues to do it. Using a burst of speed, this powerful costs a lot of stamina and produces huge amount of heat. Cheetah can only put up a sprint about 1 to 2 minutes. If exceeded, the cheetah is in danger of extreme fatigue and overheating. After getting a kill, cheetah needs to regenerate their stamina before they can start eating. During these huge windows of time, other predators take advantage on the lackluster defensive skill of cheetah. 
For example, hyenas and lions have no problem stealing a cheetah's kill. Most of the time, the cheetah will wisely choose to conceal the kills. But if they do put up a fight, they will likely to be bodied pretty hard. Now, the situation is frustrating to the cheetah, but it is not impossible to play around this weakness. Cheetah usually avoid hunting when hyenas are around and trying to get most of their kills when the lions are sleeping. And considering the lion only spend 4 hours a day waking up, this is a decent window of opportunity. While it is an honor to hold the title of the fastest land animal, it is worth mentioning that this ability has its own limitation. This ability is only useful on an open terrain and severely hampered by any obstacles. In fact, the best counterplay to Cheetah's attack strategy is to remain undercover or move to less open area when it starts attacking. Moving at such high speed is not without a risk, and this risk becomes insurmountable if the terrain is not favorable. Cheetah are unable to target arboreal prey as their blunted claws make them useless for climbing. This situation also makes their cap unable to climb a tree to protect themselves. Moving on to the communication of cheetah. Most of the cheetah's communication is through vocal communication. Cheetah is a cute animal with interestingly adorable sets of vocals. There are two genus under Felidae family or the cat family. First one, the Panthera and the Feline. There are differences in the sounds that Panthera and Feline make. Most notably, Panthera do roar but cannot purr, while Feline can purr and cannot roar. Since both cheetah and cats are the Feline genus, we will find that many vocals produced by cheetahs are similar to cats. When cheetah is feeling positive and want to express their contentment, they usually purrs. They meow when they want to attract attention or when they have something to request. In a serious agonistic or combative situation, the cheetah usually moans, growls or hisses. And the most unique sound made by cheetah is the chirping sound. The chirping sound only happens in interaction between a mother and her cubs. The mother chirps when she is calling her cubs and the cubs chirp when they are calling their mother. The non-vocal communication happen between cheetah is when they are marking their territory. A cheetah will mark their territory by urinating or by cheek and chin rubbing through a tree. The saliva and the urine secreted contains the same chemical information about the animal. Cheetah will mark their territory so that they can better avoid one another.